Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Real Talk Food Network. Um, we are very sorry for the delays. Um, it's technical stuff on our end. It is not Google. Um, so, anyways, um, let's go to Alicia, and um, we'll get started. And then we have an announcement to make, and we're gonna uh, Zen's gonna tell us about um, the theme and the requirements that she picked for the three of us tonight. Looks like we only have three chefs and one judge tonight. So uh, <laughs> it is what it is, but we're gonna move forward. Alicia. So, yeah, like Rob said, it's been crazy um, trying to get on here. Uh, you know, a couple of us were on different links. Michael was having the Michael-only show, you know. <laughs> That's an awesome show, though. Come on now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, we're here. We're, you know, we got our food ready and waiting and... Um, yeah, we have some announcements I think we're going to share at the end of the show, right? And, um, yeah, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, what we're going to do is Zen is now going to um, let us know the theme and the requirements that she picked. And then tonight I will go first, Alicia, and then Michael. Okay, tonight's theme is a proportion meal and that would be a full meal of the party's choosing. Um, there are two sides. One of them can be dessert or not and it is basically like a healthy portion size and considering it's supposed to be also like a healthy meal um, that's part of the uh, portion size but we're kind of just like leaving it a little bit open to see what people brought tonight and I am ready. I can't wait to see what everybody came up with. Oh, the other requirement that I threw in as like a twist on this theme was that one of the things that they make they have to have not tried before. So I'm sure that this made them reach out of the box just a little bit to try to find something they haven't tried before. So let's see who's got pig's ears on their plate tonight. Okay. So I'm presenting first tonight, and you guys, I'm almost thinking that we should start the show at 6.30, because my lighting is so much better, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> my lighting is better, you guys, because the sun goes down, and I have a sun shape that's orange color. So anyway, all that aside, um, this was um, a great topic, and I was excited to see it. It's about portion control, which I'm sure so many of us in the community have had or currently still do or have problems with at one time or another. I know I'm guilty. I still have problems with portion control from time to time, depending on the situation. So um, what I decided to do was make one main and two sides. I did not do a dessert because the, what, the message that I got from Zen was that she wanted us to create a meal like we would have at home. I generally don't eat desserts at home. I take that liberty when I'm out. I'd rather have somebody make a dessert right, and get one serving and eat it and be done rather than have it lingering around the house for me to eat since I live alone. So let me show you guys what I made tonight. Um, this is a piece of blackened salmon, okay, here, and it's blackened with um, paprika. It's blackened, um, well, with paprika, um, onion powder, garlic powder, um, some hickory flavoring um, that I put onto that piece of salmon. And then what I did was I rubbed olive oil all over it, and then um, I went ahead and put the seasonings that I wanted on there. Um, the seasonings in the, that went into the oil, I then took those parts of it and put it back on top to give it that really blackened texture. Then, you guys, I made, I took three baby red skin potatoes, I sliced them, and then I added in there simply garlic and basil. So it's garlic and basil. There's nothing else added to them. They're going to be absolutely amazing, and it's just three of the little ones. Um, then the item that I did not try was a recipe that I just made up. I took bell peppers, and I used a yellow one and an <laughs> orange one, and I diced them up and then added one ounce of ground pork sausage to it and um, just sautéed it, like flame, flame fried it in... Um, well, not really flame fried, but just uh, threw it on in hot olive oil in the pan, just enough to get a little bit of heat to it, but keeping the um, pepper texture har uh, harder. So we have five ounces of salmon, one ounce of uh, um, 
one ounce of the pork sausage there, and then we have three baby potatoes. So when you look at the plate, it's a decent portion of food, and that's what I decided to make tonight. Everything on here is healthy. Everything is within portion control of what um, anybody would eat. And the thing is, is, if this is all I make, this is all I can eat, and this is what I made for dinner tonight. So that's my meal. That's awesome. awesome. That looks good. Uh, it looks super oh, good, Rob. So it looks so good. I, I love the salmon, and I think that, uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of salmon. And I love the idea of the peppers uh, lightly sautéed in with the... Uh, <laughs> you froze there, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the uh, <laughs> What did you say was in it? I'm sorry. Oh, pork sausage. I right. take it out of my sight. I forget. Ooh, that looks good. And the potatoes that sounded really good with the basil on them. I don't know if I've had them like that. But they look awesome. They are nice. Absolutely amazing. And there's a picture of the salmon, you guys. Ooh, that is just so good. Black. It is really hard to hard to hard to uh, beat the taste. Uh, there is the potato. You see the olive oil on there. Yep. Along with the um, garlic and the uh, um, last night train of thought, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's that, and let me hold up a spoonful of this just so everybody can see. Hopefully that don't fall, but that's going to be absolutely amazing. Also, mm, yeah. <laughs> how is it? How is it? Really good. Really, really good. I like a lot of vegetables raw. So the fact that the pepper did not lose their texture by just pan searing them, I absolutely love that taste. And sausage makes anything taste absolutely amazing, as we all know. Yeah. Awesome. That well, looks really good. Yes. Does it fall into your, um, you know, when you do your numbers for the day, does that meal fall into your... Um, you know, your totals like the way you would expect? Yes. Um, everything in here, um, again, is um, would be considered low calorie. I mean, you do have carbs in your red skin potatoes, but I mean, you're using three baby red skin potatoes. It's not like you're making two huge baked potatoes and loading it up with a bunch of extra things. And you guys, I found out this past week that I have um, a lot of allergies to dairy products. So um, I have a new way of eating, and I've had to eliminate um, some of those things and some things I can still eat. Um, and we'll have to just use extreme moderation. So um, I'm actually on a dairy detox right now. So I'm going through that for the next few days, and then um, I can work in certain dairy products um, in moderation. So this works in great. Um, you know, it's just a piece of salmon. Everything that's on the salmon is spices or herbs. There is no salts or anything on there. They're all powders. Um, so that's absolutely amazing. Again, I added no kinds of seasoning other than olive oil to the peppers with the um, sausage. And then, again, to the basil and um, garlic in this along with um, olive oil. So... Not um, really flavorful, but just like natural flavors without covering up all the natural taste of the actual food, which that's how I like to eat. So this is something I would make for myself and eat at home, so that's why I decided to make it tonight. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks so good, Rob. Looks like really, really yummy. Did you use salt on your potatoes? Mm -mm. No? No, because... There's garlic in there, there's garlic in there, and there's also the basil. So it's more than enough taste. Um, if somebody wants salt or pepper, you could add salt or pepper to taste. Um, it's not going to be a big deal. Salt's a very important part of our diet, too, as long as we <coughs> excuse me, consume it in moderation. Uh, there's not a problem with it. And everything else on my plate, most of the sodium is obviously going to come from the one ounce of the pork sausage and then um, moderate sodium within the fish. Other than that, um, not a lot of sodium in the dinner at all. Great job. Thank you. That looks super good. I I haven't had uh, salmon or fish for a long time, so. Oh my god, it looks so good. It's something that I I think I'm gonna attempt again, 
But I've never had anything blackened, so that's very... That's amazing. I like that. Really. Is it hard to make? No. Mm -hmm. Not no. at all. I'll have to try it. Yep. Definitely. So, if there's no other questions, up next, um, we're really short staff tonight. That's why we're all just kind of wearing different hats. Um, we're going to go to Alicia. Alicia's next, and then Michael uh, will bring up the caboose. <laughs> okay, I'll show you what, Dave, the best what I made. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay, so here's I here's what I made. Um, it is this is uh, just ribeye steak that I um, cooked up in the pan um, with just some seasonings. It has um, a, is it Montreal steak? Uh, seasoning. I've been like totally obsessed with that. And then, um, of course, there's a half a piece of corn here that's just floating around because I'm obsessed with corn lately. And then this, um, I, I, you know, I've had spinach, I've had mushrooms, uh, but I threw them together with some balsamic vinegar. And to be honest with you. I've never had balsamic vinegar before. I've never like used it. I know. Oh. I'm like, <laughs> but I've never used it. So I thought, well, hey, why not? So I threw some, you know, the mushrooms and the, I love spinach. So I threw that together. And um, this, this for me would be um, probably a good size. I probably wouldn't even be able to finish all of this. Not. Maybe, maybe not, because the, the corn usually gets me really full, but, uh, you know, the other stuff, it definitely, I have been, like, on a total steak kick, like, craving steak like crazy, I think it's because of my iron, but, like, I've been eating steak almost every night, so, um, you know, so it's, it, it's been so good, and I... <laughs> Usually, like um, different seasonings, like but I've been obsessed with the Montreal um, seasonings, and I know now they have like a steak and a chicken and just different ones, and so I just absolutely love it. And like I said, this is a ribeye steak, and um, it's a little bit more than I usually spend for a steak, but like I'm like I'm worth it. <laughs> I'm worth it. So yeah, that's what I chose. That looks awesome, Alicia. I, I really, um, I love the creativity with the mushroom and the um, spinach. I'm a huge fan of spinach. I love mushroom. And I'm a huge fan of balsamic vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> I think that there's a lot of other places you could try it, too. And you have to tell me how you like this. I will. Balsamic I will. vinegar and vinaigrette is super good on all kinds of salad as okay. well. Uh, yeah. And or uh, right on the f fish. If you make the salmon next time, mm -hmm. it's really good as a dipping sauce on salmon too. Oh, okay. It's, oh, like, it's and then on so many things. I forgot. I did bring a drink today. This isn't. It isn't a Starbucks drink, but it is a Starbucks cup. Nice. Uh, just for my Starbucks friend over there, Michael. Mm -hmm. I love him so. But, um, you know, but what I did was usually, okay, let me just say this. I love the green tea lemonade at Starbucks, and so I actually made my own. I, I just brewed up some green tea, took the um, Minute Maid Just 15 lemonade, added a little bit of that, and put some um, Tarani syrup in there with some ice. And um, actually with the ice, what I did was I... I made the tea, but I used them um, um, in the the ice trays. I froze um, some squares of tea in the ice tray, so that's what I did. So that was a bonus. I'm just. Well, that's saying. pretty. It's pretty good. Looks pretty good. And that's a great, great creativity on your part too for the drink, even though drinks weren't included. Um, yeah. I love the cup. <laughs> of course. And uh, yeah, the steak looked really delicious too. Really. Yeah. Delicious. And it, it is, um, it, it's made perfectly, like it's not dry, and it's, I, I don't do, um, I don't do well with, uh, I don't like red, like undercooked, um, but like it's perfect, and it's very soft, and so, yeah. Looks good. That looks so good. It really does look good. It's really tasty. Yeah, I want to say, Alicia, I think it looks good, and 
one of the things I really liked about um, your meal tonight, because we all comment on each other's stuff too, was that you put everything on one plate and mm -hmm. um, really made like what would be served as a meal. So mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to doing that because I think for a lot of times, um, you being a weight loss surgery person who tries not to eat a lot, you tend to put stuff like in a bowl or something like that, and yeah. you just eat that. But I like the fact that you made real nice small portions of everything and put everything on one plate and presented it. I think it looks great. Yeah. I think that's a great way to eat. Mm -hmm. And I think it makes you feel like even though it's little portions, you're still getting a lot. And sometimes being food addicts, that's what we have to do, is sometimes we have to play the game and be able to play the game better than the addiction does. Yeah. So um, I think your food looks great tonight, and I would love to be there for dinner. Unfortunately, I'm a long ways away, but I think you did a good job tonight from one chef to another. I think you did. Yeah, good. it was really good. And, you know, usually I don't use big plates like this, but, um, you know, I just – it just um, – it's one thing that I've really been, like, I've been obsessing over the same meal with steak and uh, for the last, I don't know, week, you know, and stuff. So um, it's just it's just really good, and it's so easy. Like, takes no time at all, so. Yeah. yeah. Do you grill it outside or inside? Um, inside. inside. I, I just do it inside on the pan. Um, yeah. yeah, and it, it turns out so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Looking pretty tasty tonight. Thank you. Very right. <coughs> What was that? I said to Ben, I go, and who's last? <laughs> who's last? I'm oh. last. Say my name. 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 Oh, Michael. Okay. All right. Well, life's uncertain, so I say eat dessert first. And since my dessert is completely and utterly melted, I'm gonna show you my my melted dessert here. I made a homemade ice cream sandwich. This is a half of a Italian wafer. Um, actually, it's two halves of Italian wafer with like an eighth of a cup of ice cream drizzled with just chocolate syrup, and that's my portion size, even though I had planned this, and I had some ice cream yesterday, and it did not do well with me, so I will not be eating this, but that is my portion size, mm -hmm. and it's like melted and just gross looking, but I had to show it. Michael, I have now, to say, my, even melted. Dinner tonight, I made, this is... Oh, I said even melted, it looks good. <laughs> I'll probably just lick it off the plate. You said you weren't going to eat it. I probably <laughs> won't eat it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat my dinner. My dinner tonight is a... Oh. be better if I hold it up like this. Yeah, you're, you're Here we go. Up. Here hold we still. go. Can you see this? Now this I can. is a green chili bacon turkey cheeseburger quesadilla. Ooh. Ooh. There is in here. There is a a turkey burger that I seasoned with um, regular hamburger seasoning, wrapped in fried bacon, topped with green chilies. You take uh, a tortilla. Actually, it calls for you take you take two tortillas and you I cook them because um, I buy the 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 ones that you have to cook out of the uh, the refrigerator section. Oh, bomb. And you overlap the tortillas. You put a slice. I have a slice of American cheese, a slice of uh, cheddar cheese, and a slice of pepper jack cheese. One on each side of the the patty. Roll it up. Um, with some green chilies in there, and then you grill it, and you got beautiful grill marks. And this here is my perfect portion size because it is actually a half of a hamburger, and that's what I can eat. Mm -hmm. Along with, because I still like my French fries, I have eight French fries, and that's what I eat when I eat French fries. I eat eight French fries 
and I dip them in light mayonnaise. Mm. So, I mean, let me let me just taste it. This here I've never made before. My mother sent me the uh, a link on Facebook and said, "Oh, we need to try that." And I said, "Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna try it on Monday." Yeah. Oh my God, even cold. <laughs> you taste the pepper jack cheese and the bacon and the patty is cooked perfectly. Well, oh, and the green good. chilies just top it off. That's okay, right. I can like literally taste it. Like yeah. literally, you yeah. you showed it and it explained it so well, and just you biting into that, like I can freaking taste it. <laughs> like, and then, and I brought a drink tonight too. My meal is paired with not your father's root beer. It's a hard root beer is what I'm having tonight with my burger. So, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> What's that it, taste it, like, Michael? It tastes like an old-fashioned root beer. You can't taste the alcohol in it. And it's only 5.9% alcohol per volume. And it's not real carbonated either. Oh, okay. All right. That's good. Well, that your meal good. looks really good. Mm -hmm. It looks good. I, I think that the... Um, the burger really was a very interesting combination to put it with the jack cheese, bacon, and the tortilla. I, I probably would never have thought to put a turkey burger in a tortilla. I mean, unless it was ground mm. up, you know, because I have my mindset about how I eat. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody does, <laughs> right? But it's kind of like, that's just like, yeah, it's very different. Very, very different. It's very different. I mean, I saw the, the link and I was like, wow. I mean, because I can't eat a whole bun at all. Right. I can eat, you know, technically this, it's actually less than a whole tortilla, a flour, flour tortilla, because it's a little less than half of a, a burger. But, I mean, it's it's better than eating a, a bun in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, it is. And those, those tortillas that you cook fresh are so good. Yeah, um, they are. They're really good, and they're usually pretty good size. So usually, if for when I try to eat one, I eat like a, a little less than a half. Mm -hmm. You know, is about the maximum that I can eat of those. You know, and us being uh, right. weight less, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and the burgers yeah. are so dense that combined with tortilla really will make you like completely stuffed. You would never even get to that ice cream. No, I'm, I, I, I'm not gonna get to. <laughs> that. And maybe not the fries either, honey. Oh, yeah. that, that ice cream. I know. Tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Michael, let me make a comment about your meal. Okay. okay First of Daddy. all, Daddy don't think it looks good. No, I'm just kidding. I would devour it. Um, one of the changes that I would make, only because I'm a cheese freak, well, now I can't really have cheese unless it's a special occasion, without me putting a slice of American cheese on there because nothing tastes good to me like a melted American cheese. But I love those green chilies that you had in there. And um, the, wrapping it in them tortillas, that reminds me of those new breakfast menu at um, Taco Bell. Because they're wrapping like sausage patties and hash browns and shit in tortillas. So <laughs> I like to say tortillas. So, I know. Um, that, when you held that up, it kind of reminded me of the breakfast that they now have at Taco Bell. I've never had breakfast at Taco Bell. But I have to admit, it does look good, but I've never had it. It does look um, good. It does, it does look good, in all honesty, it does, because I think we're so used to Burger King and McDonald's and Wendy's, which is all the same thing. You get a sausage yeah. muffin or a sausage on a biscuit or a sausage egg on a biscuit. Or you might as well just wrap it up in a tortilla. Right, wrap it in a tortilla <laughs> and put some sauce on there and you're good to go. Um, <laughs> the dessert was absolutely amazing, and no one can blame you for that. I mean, we have a 35-minute delay. Uh, we're worse than like the airport today. Um, right. <laughs> we, we all know that's not your fault, but um, I just want to say again, I think it's an amazing dish. I love the brownness on the top of it. Um, I just think um, everybody did an amazing yeah. job. Yeah, that looks so good, Michael. So good. You want to buy it? Yeah. yeah. I do, actually. I do. Look at that <laughs> green, All of them. Chilies and that cheese and that meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's seasoned yeah. perfectly because, you know, Michael is a perfectionist. You know, he, right. he was last season's winner. 
That is true. Um, it's going to be this season. That's <laughs> you know what I'm undeniable. So I'm going to, uh, we have a few comments I'm going to go over, but um, Zen, make sure you uh, text me your choice when you make Do it. Do I have to vote? I mean, can't I just make everybody a wiener tonight? No. That's not no, how we're not. We don't <laughs> we're Only one of us. I want to be a wiener. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Dennis is watching, and he says, um, Rob, how do you cook your salmon? Do you bake it or broil it? How do you do it? Sure, great question. Um, I always bake my salmon. And you know what? I like to bake my salmon frozen. Now, on uh, really any of my fish. Now, if you look on any of your fish that you buy, there's usually always going to be instructions on the back for cooking it thawed or cooking it frozen. Now, if I buy a fresh piece of fish from the meat department or something, I don't freeze it and then bake it. But this is the thing. When you take um, <clears throat> fish out of the freezer and you thaw it, I don't like that in my refrigerator, and I don't like the smell of it. I think it, when you cook it raw, in my opinion, and my opinion only, it gives off more of a smell to me. And I don't like that in my house. So I always cook my fish frozen. Now, what you can do is a couple different things. You can take the piece of salmon, and on this particular piece, I used olive oil. And I, it's frozen, so you take and rub the olive oil on either with your hand or you can use a spoon or whatever you want. And then you can put all your spices and herbs and everything that you want on there. <clears throat> I always spray the bottom of the pan, and I always like to cook in glass dishes. So I bake it. I put it in the oven at 400 for about 32 minutes, and that's frozen, and that was for the size that you've seen the cut that I had. You really have to adjust the minutes by the size that you're cooking. Um, but you can always um, poke salmon when it's done until, uh, when you feel it's done until if it's cooked all the way through or not. So um, another thing I love to do is if I'm not using olive oil, sometimes I'll take like a honey mustard and rub it on the top. I'll take, you can even take a mayo or a ranch dressing and rub it on the top, and then put whatever spices and herbs and things you want on top of it and season it the way you want. The piece of salmon frozen with honey mustard smeared on the top of it, and then putting some um, spices and herbs, and even taking, believe it or not, some shake and bake, just a little bit, and sprinkling it over the top of it. it, it um, that shake and bake adheres to that salmon, and as it cooks, it gives it a very crusted taste to it, and it is absolutely amazing. So uh, follow the directions on the back of your package. Again, I prefer to cook all of my fish frozen, it's just my personal choice. Great question, Dennis. Thank you. I do the oh, same yeah. thing. I cook all my fish frozen because I, I agree with Rob. It does leave a different odor and a stronger odor. Very pungent. Fish out first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So okay, and then the next one is from Khadija Art Artist. Um. She said that there's a store called Oil and Vinegar that she goes to, and they have tons of vinegars and oils. Mm -hmm. She combines walnut oil and raspberry vinegar for amazing dressing. Oh, that sounds good. No, that store sounds amazing. I what know. is the name of the store again, Alicia? I'm sure everyone will be blowing up Google looking for those stores. <laughs> What's it called again? Oil and Vinegar. Okay. Where is it at? Oil and Vinegar, and we have one here at our local mall. Oh my God! It is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Some of those oils are very expensive, but they're they're very good, and um, they do last a, quite a while if you, um, you know, use them sparingly and or yeah. mix them down, uh, you know, with some regular olive oil if they're real strong. You can mix them down. Okay. Great question. Yeah. And then um, Donna Brazel said. I hope I'm saying her last name right. Oh, I love Michael. He's the most amazing person I know, and I'm ready to head to Texas and eat his food. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Michael, another fan beating your door down. Michael, you're going to have to open up another little cafe. <laughs> right? Uh, Michael's tortilla. All I got to say is, don't come on over. My door's always open. <laughs> and then uh, one more comment we had is from Khadija again, and she said, I missed the first one, but Alicia, your portions were perfect, and that salmon dish was protein-packed. I love it. Yeah. So, yeah. So those were the comments, and, yeah, I think that everything turned out really, really good. Yeah, uh, I would have to agree with you. I, it was very hard to make a decision tonight, for sure. 
Everything yeah. looked amazing, and I, I would have eaten any of those meals. Um, you know, I mean, the protein part for sure. Anyway, <laughs> they all looked good, and, uh, you know, even if I couldn't eat the whole thing, I would definitely have had as much of it as I possibly could have because that they all look great, and I definitely want to... Um, Definitely want to try that tortilla thing, Michael. Um, now that's got me uh, kind of curious I'll about. I'll send that. you the. I'll send you the the link that my mom sent me. Okay, that'll wow. be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, I'd like it too, Michael. I think I'm going to tweet that and maybe find a way to put some spam in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love spam, but spam is a I love spam. Oh, some fried. Spam, I love spam, some but it is very spam low quality American meat, cheese. so you can only eat it once in a while. It is yeah. so salty. I gag literally. It's you like, can get low sodium spam now, though. Yeah, they have different kinds now. I yeah. think it's saltier now than ever before in the past. You know, hey, I really. Rob, I'm sure it is, and you know what? This, I mean, I know we're not on a topic or nothing like that, but I think that goes to manufacturers realizing the more sodiums and things that they put into the foods that we as consumers are buying, the longer they can put it on the shelf. So back in the day when maybe something could be on the shelf for, say, three or six months if it's canned, and I'm sure it was longer than that, but I'm just saying as an example, as a base, now it can be on the shelf for up to two years. Look at the expiration date on some of the stuff that is canned in a plant and put on the shelf waiting for that consumer to come and grab it. That's not even the ones on the shelf, you guys. Think about the ones in the back storeroom that is buried at the house. So um, I think we see more and more sodium and things like that, um, additives put into food to help um, prolong the shelf life on them. And it's yeah. probably not going to get any better. Yeah, definitely. And well, that's another reason that you know eating cleaner and fresher is always better. Right. Well, Rob. I'm just going to tell you, you take some of that the, the low-sodium turkey spam, wrap that in bacon with American cheese, and put that in that tortilla. Now, if I wanted to make that low-calorie, could I skip the bacon by getting the bacon-flavored turkey? Or the bacon-flavored yeah. turkey? Lower That's fat. You get, the, you, you get the turkey spam, and then you get the turkey bacon. Right, a okay. lot lower fat. In the bacon, yeah. Yeah. you know, and but, you know, but but come on, you only gonna eat it once, so right, you might as well. No, go but flat. you know, all those fat, all the fat does add up calorie wise. It's very high calorie, even though it is very tasty. Fat has a really good taste to a lot of the foods it's in. It isn't necessarily healthy for you whether you're thin or fat. You know, it's it's right. clogging your veins, arteries, and all of us are not getting any younger, honey. And you can be thin as a stick and drop over dead from clogged arteries, just saying. Yep. Everyone has to be careful. I'm getting, you know. Everyone <laughs> has to be careful. And when you're looking at me, the ones to avoid, and you know what, I learned this actually from last week's episode when we were reviewing paleo, and it said, it was listing different meats, and it said you really have to watch low-quality meats, which are not all, but most hot dogs, um, spam, potted meat, um, things like that, um, canned chicken and things like that. I mean, you guys have to realize that is processed so much. And there is times where it's okay to have that stuff, as long as you use moderation, both in how often you eat it and the amount that you eat it. But canned food should really not be a staple way of living if you're truly trying to eat healthy. And I'm not preaching because I've ate canned foods a lot, but very, I'll tell anybody right now, you would never walk into my house and find one can of canned vegetables. I will not eat them. I don't like them, but that's just me. So watch your canned foods. Um, try to buy fresh when you can. If what you can afford or what's convenient is canned, it's still better than going out and buying um, McDonald's or Burger King. Yeah, very true. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, then I guess tonight you are you have a single vote. So let okay. us all know who you chose. Um, tonight I chose Robsy um, because I was really impressed with his um, peppers and his creativity in eating the you know, the peppers with the pork sausage sounded so good. And um, I really like all of your um, choices tonight and your portion size I thought was very on point not that everyone else's wasn't 
Um, I really enjoyed everyone's meal. It was really a hard decision. I am a huge salmon fish eater, and I just saw that as being like the picture of health for me was the, the peppers and uh, a little of the additional protein there with the, um, the pork sausage and then the uh, potatoes. Now, you know me and potatoes are not friends, but um, I know they are tasty and they're great for other people, just not for me so much. Right. But uh, they are very good. Everybody, Alicia's, yours was a beautiful meal. I, I would have come over to any of you guys' house and eaten eaten it. It was a hard choice tonight. And I would have made you all wieners, but Alicia wouldn't let me. <laughs> I would. Well, thank well, you very much. I'm going to say we're all wieners. <laughs> we're all wieners tonight. Y'all wieners. Everyone's Alicia, a big pick tonight, right? It might be her show, but she ain't got no say because Michael said so. Right. Because <laughs> Michael said so. Performing a mutiny. <laughs> well. I yeah. really want to talk about switching the show to 630 because I can't believe. Okay, I got to stop. Okay. Enough. <laughs> Just stop. I don't think that's a bad idea, except it makes it harder to go to the gym after the yeah. show. We can talk after the show. <laughs> Well, okay, so. yeah, it was unfortunate, and, you know, a lot of it was my, I was going crazy before the show trying to figure out, you know, because everything's always changing, so sorry I came in late. And then Michael tried to have his own show <coughs> for a minute. <laughs> then, There's nothing yeah. better than the Michael show. Come on. Right? Now. So if you checked him Amazing. out over on the Michael show, he was like the only winner. He was the only one. He he won <laughs> everything. So you know, um, I won. You know, we should, are y'all gonna have a spam war show? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bringing that up. I got to announce Brooke is not here tonight, you guys. Brooke ran a 50 mile race this past weekend. I believe that was her 50 mile, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. Fifty uh, k. Fifty k. 50K, sorry. So she's working up to a 50-mile run. So she is beat, and she just could not be here tonight. She had a 14-hour drive. Um, but she, um, she was supposed to announce what our theme and requirements were going to be for next week. So that she couldn't be there. She texted that to me, and I'm going to read it exactly as she texted it to me. Also, you guys, Christy was not here. She had a leak at her house. She has all kinds of things going on, but she is scheduled to return next week, you guys. And we're super excited for that. And I think, Michael, we got to be careful because Christy and Alicia are going to be paying it, um, ganging up on us because they're going to be trying to get all the points. <laughs> they can try, but come on, right. boo, we got so this. So let, let's see. What, I'm sorry I'm unprepared for this. Um, okay, Brooke said the following. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, Brooke said this. Brooke said that um, what she's going to go with is Breakfast Wars. So it's going to be Breakfast Wars, and she wants one main and one side, no dessert. Although your dish can be sweet. So the dish can be sweet. You could do like pancakes with syrup or, you know, all that kind of stuff, cannolis or whatever they're called, crepes, I guess, Ooh. crepes. Uh, you, can, you can make those kinds of things, and you can add an extra side if you want, but you will have to declare what side you are being judged on. So it's going to be one main and one side. It can be sweet, but it cannot be a dessert. And if you're going to add an additional side, you can, but you must declare at the beginning of the show which side the, ju which side the judges are judging you on. Does everyone got that? Yeah. Okay. Got it. That's, uh, that's, that's next week's topic, breakfast oh, war. It's just stuff wrapped up in a tortilla. All right, I'm there all you go. <laughs> um, Oh, watch us all bring stuff wrapped in a tortilla next week. Right. You know, that's really hard for a Mexican girl to say tortilla. I'm just saying. Oh, I just say it. Very hard. So I mean, tortilla. A tortilla is... is it's not tortilla. right. Yeah, it's a tortilla, tortilla. not a tor tortilla. <laughs> what, you, I just, what about saying a tortilla? Tortilla. Tortilla. Yeah, that's how you it's say it. Those like, flour things you buy over in the package over there in the refrigerator <laughs> section, right. you throw off in the skillet until it's got the little brown dots on it. 
<laughs> well, actually, if you want to do it the true Mexican way, it would be on a gas, you know, and you actually put it right on. On the burner. It, you don't even use the, the pan. You put it right on the, yeah. You flame yeah. on. Yep, just okay, put it right guys, on there. We are getting a little silly because everyone's been drinking. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, you guys, we really appreciate you watching us tonight. Um, we know we were short-staffed. We were late getting on. But we do appreciate your continued support and dedication dedication to Real Talk Food Network. And uh, we look forward to next Monday's show. Be sure to join us at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless we change it to 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. But we'll talk with you guys about that later. Have an amazing, amazing week, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Night. Bye. I'm sitting. i got to stop it. Best in